Hey folks, Matt from Art of the Image. We've got uh, YouTube's six reasons why HTML5 won't replace Flash yet. Um, I was reading an article on realseo.com, R-E-E-L-S-E-O.com, and uh, so I was going over that, and I thought this was very interesting because there's a big debate, obviously, between Adobe and they're the owners of Flash, and Apple not wanting Flash, wanting to go HTML5, and then those that are falling in between and trying to align themselves on either side. Uh, so it's quite interesting. So basically, um, quick list of things they mentioned in the six reasons. Uh, the H264, Theora, WebM, um, and one of the major drawbacks to HTML5 replacing Flash is the video file format. Basically, it boils down to um, a not a lot of support and not sure about patent licensing problems in the future and things like this um, for anything other than Flash, whereas Flash is a known uh, commodity. We've got that nailed down. They're using it successfully, whereas these other things take a big switch over from Flash to something else like HTML5 and are you opening up Pandora's box for the future? Um, the uh, other thing they mention here is control. HTML5 lacks the fine control for videos, for tags and things like that. Uh, you have very little control over buffering and dynamic quality control. Uh, Flash allows it through the downloading and playback of video via ActionScript uh, in conjunction with HTTP or RTMP. HTML, HTML does not do this at all right now. Uh, that was, I mean, this article is a few months old, but I think it's still pertinent in that area. So that's of interest. Um, content protection is another area. It's an issue for HTML5. Um, Flash has content protection. Matt allows them to package it and have some form of protection on it. HTML5 does not. Um, and then as far as encapsulation and embedding goes, um, Flash is, is pretty much the only route for most sites to allow that type of embedding on the site. HTML5 doesn't handle it. Uh, and as far as high def goes, we're all into high def. We're wanting bigger, better videos. Um, I mean, I put most of these videos out at uh, 1080p. So you want them bigger and you wanna watch them. So Flash allows that. And um, HTML5 is not quite there yet as far as, uh, as allowing the best of those features. And uh, so basically, um, a lot of reasons to uh, still to use Flash and not to go HTML5. And another one they've got here, um, as they call, add it up, smack it down, push it together. And basically talking about uh, how many thousands of users, millions of users every day um, use their webcams uh, and various things to do audio and video together. Uh, video and sound with flash, a camera, microphone, or a webcam with a built-in microphone, things like that. And uh, very easy to do with flash, not so easy to do with HTML5, sometimes impossible. So um, really good article here. Um, you can check it out. It's YouTube's six reasons why HTML5 won't replace flash yet. It's from realseo.com. I'll post a link down below. Decent article and uh, something to bear in mind if you are um, designing your own websites doing your own um, videos and what you're encoding them in, uh, whether or not what you're choosing to support, what you're not supporting. Uh, I know, for instance, I have the iPad here. I really like the iPad, but one of its biggest flaws, same as the iPhone and the iPad, uh, the iPod Touch, is that it won't, uh, it won't stream Flash, uh, unless, like, for instance, the YouTube application will allow that. But this is a big hole in your, in your user... Uh, interface in your user enjoyment with these devices because a lot of uh, websites, many, many websites, some people say as high as 80, 90% of them use some form of flash in the website. So to be able to, go, to have to go to a website and have a little thing pop up saying you can't see it really makes the user experience for the iPad, the iPod Touch, um, the iPhone kind of crappy in that sense. Uh, it's something that Apple should get off their high horse and come out with some type of workaround for this in the meantime, even if they don't want to support Flash indefinitely, so that their customers, us, me, who bought an iPad, um, gets a, a nice, seamless experience. So that's why this factors into um, why it's so important, HTML5 versus Flash. And if you're 
doing your own websites, doing your own videos, things like this. These are things you want to consider before um, you make a decision on which way to go. Anyways, thanks for tuning in, folks. Stay tuned. We'll be back soon with more videos, more articles. We'll keep you up to date with what's going on in the world of photography. Thanks.